The BMW Championship is the second of three playoff events. The top 30 players in the FedEx Cup standings after this week will advance to the Tour Championship. The winner of the Tour Championship will be the FedEx Cup champion. Up till now, Scheffler and Fitzpatrick are both playing well this season, while Roy McIlroy is three strokes back of the leaders after the first round of the BMW Championship. Scotty Scheffler and Matt Fitzpatrick are tied for the lead at seven under par. Rory McIlroy finds himself trailing the frontrunners of the BMW Championship by a margin of three strokes, while McIlroy seems to be competing with a goal in mind. That goal is to secure his fourth FedEx Cup Championship title, but his performance says otherwise. There are two sides to this now. Being three strokes behind means he still is a threat and has a realistic chance of catching up to the leaders, which isn't so hard. On the other hand, McElroy will need to level up his game, and since he has ground to cover, McElroy will need to push harder and perform really well to make up for these mistakes and win this cup. So whether it's a good thing or a bad thing depends on how McElroy performs in the final round and how the leaderboard evolves. McElroy is currently tied with Victor Hovland for 5th place. Even though he did play well this round by making birdies in some holes, most of his shots were quite disappointing, and he had to take more shots than expected to complete a hole. McElroy did feel a little disappointed about not performing how he should have, but he still felt overall happy with his performance on the day compared to his performance the previous day. After playing several rounds, Scotty Scheffler and Matt Fitzpatrick have the same score and are tied for the lead in the BMW Championship. During the third round of the tournament, Scotty Scheffler played really well, making seven birdies and just one bogey. As a result, he scored an impressive 64 strokes in that one round. On the other hand, Matt Fitzpatrick had a good round too. He was able to score 66 strokes by making four birdies, but unfortunately, he too made one bogey. In the end, both Scheffler and Fitzpatrick finished their third round with a total score of 11 strokes under par, and are in the lead together for the final round of the tournament. Behind them is Max Holm, who's been trying to win the PGA Tour. Even though he's won two times, he is currently in fourth place right behind Brian Harmon. If Max Holm does somehow win this, this will be his fourth victory yet. Scotty Scheffler talks about how he succeeded in executing shots around the greens, particularly in challenging situations like bunkers. Even those hard shots, Scheffler managed to make precise shots close to the hole, which has been crucial in maintaining momentum during the round. Then he talked about the wind conditions. Scheffler then continued to talk about how the wind made it harder for him and other players to score. He mentioned that instead of the wind moving in one direction only, it was blowing in different random directions, which made it a lot harder to hit with accuracy. He then continues on to give another example of a hole where he hit the same club as another player, but the outcome was very different. Due to the changing wind, their shots ended up very different distances from the hole. This shows how the wind can unexpectedly change the path of the ball in the air. Scotty Scheffler has been performing consistently in all golf tournaments throughout the year, and has usually been among the top players who have had a good chance of winning. This kind of performance brings a sense of enjoyment to the fans, as Scheffler likes being in a competitive position and having the opportunity to win. Even though Scheffler enjoys healthy competition, he admitted that it can get very tiring since not only he, but every single golfer has to put in the work to be in the spotlight. Not to mention the effort the golfer's team has to put into reaching this point, while the energy drain they frequently experience is mostly because of the mental stress they all have to go through. But Scheffler mentions that he's been dealing with this kind of pressure for the past two years now, and this feeling is not in any way new. This shows that even with all that pressure, Scheffler is still looking ahead to give his best by acknowledging the challenges and exhaustion that come with consistent contention. The golfer still shows he is motivated to continue performing well and not at all bothered about who's leading or what might happen in the next tournament. Instead, he concentrated on playing his best in the current game. Matt Fitzpatrick seems to be focused solely on his performance this time. Fitzpatrick revealed how much work he has to put in and to be in top form for important golf tournaments like this one. Not only that, but Matt also talked about how his team is always helping him and how their number one motive is to make Matt be in a good position to win and do well overall. In the post-match interview, Matt explained how he had to think strategically while playing on the course to come up with the next move by planning and making decisions about how to hit the ball to get the best results. He too admitted some of the parts of the golf course were a bit tricky and required creative thinking to get out of difficult situations. Situations like getting stuck in challenging spots where he had to come up with new and clever ways of getting the ball back on track and closer to the hole. 
According to Matt, being able to take the ball out of these tricky situations gave him a sense of confidence. Other than that, his confidence would boost much further when he managed to make difficult putts to save par. He believes that being able to handle these situations helps keep his performance going smoothly and positively affects the golfer's chances of doing well in the tournament. One difficult shot for Matt was in the third hole that he had to make near the green because the ball was in that difficult grassy area called the rough. To make matters worse, the grass was thick which made it harder for him to hit the ball properly, but he still managed to hit the ball and bring it to a roll and stop just 10 feet away from the hole. Then came the 15th hole, and this time an obstacle came in the way, and he had to use a tree as a reference point for the drop and to hit the ball in the right direction towards the hole. Matt Fitzpatrick talked about how he got into situations during the game that were difficult, which resulted in a higher score than he initially had in mind, and even mentioned a triple. Even with this setback, the golfer still remains positive and hopeful about his chances in the tournament. During the interview, Matt mentioned that even though he didn't have a perfect round, he still played well in other parts of the game. If you really think about it, this kind of makes sense. Imagine if the challenging hole didn't come in the way then, his performance would have been way better than it is now. In the past, Matt has put on a show and we're confident he still is in a great position to do well in the tournament. What do you think about this BMW Championship match? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching, see you again soon in another video.